I'm back with Ross again. Come to see your stand. Hi, the NAC. It looks very good. Thank you. It's got a custom powder coat on there, which... Uh, of course. Very good to see. So Ross, today I thought we'd be quite interested. Let's take a walk with you, obviously. Yeah. And ask you some questions that maybe people don't know the answers to. And uh oh. <laughs> so first obvious one. Waist when... size. Uh, it's a 34 at the moment. It's <laughs> trying to be a 32. Obviously extreme. Been around for a little while now. 2005. What's the origin of extreme? So t tell us about where where did it come from? How did it start? Yeah. Well, we we were a marine company. We started manufacturing boat trailers. Um, so back in 2005. We organically grew the product. Um, we started small and gradually we got bigger, we got bigger, we invested in new machinery. And the, as I say, the rest is, is history. Uh, so that's straightforward, nice and just <laughs> one, one, one route to market and it was... Yeah, well, because we're a marine company, we, we designed the trailers around boats that we had. We, right. we were boat users, avid boat users. So we, we did things differently. We took the passion from us being boat sellers and users and take that on board to manufacture boats. So boats. are you a boat man, a jet ski man? What are you? I'm a boat, jet ski, rib, power boat. So you've been on a jet man. ski, yeah? I've been on a jet ski. Give us the name of a jet ski you've been on. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, CDU RXP. Uh, oh, wow. So uh, a fast yeah. one. Um, my son, he's 10. He's daddy, daddy, daddy. He wants a jet ski. Okay. Uh, it doesn't help but when he watches your videos because that just makes him even more enthusiastic. Well, at least you don't have the expense of a trailer, though, if you yeah. are to get a jet that, ski. Yeah, I can recommend a good trailer manufacturer, so okay. that's all good. A powder coated one, of course. Of course, of course. So you're based, based in Southampton. Everything's yes. made right in Southampton. I've had a little look at your facilities. Yeah. Thanks for inviting me down. You're welcome. And obviously it goes without saying, injection molding, CNC, Laser all machine. of the fabrication, it's yes. all done in Southampton, right? Yes, we are the only boat trailer manufacturer that makes everything in-house, rollers, the chassis, uh, we, we pride ourselves. So talk to me a little bit about, obviously I know a lot about injection molding at this point. Yep. What's the big deal around CNC? What does that actually mean in terms of what it gives the trailer? Obviously, I've heard it spoken about a lot. I've seen it in, in action, but from your yeah. point of view, why, why do you do CNC versus say welded, for example? So, you know, it's the future. It's the modern way of doing it. It's the less reliant on A, a person, and B, a weld. Uh, if so we when you say person, you mean is obviously a machine doing it time yes. after time? Yeah, it's, it's accurate. 100% or 99.99% accurate. And it's the reliant on that weld. With our laser machine, we can uh, we're able to fold the metal right. um, rather than weld it. And that's what makes us different. You know, we, we, we're the modern take, um, we're the market leaders. So when you see all like, the bracketry and stuff, the thing that I've always loved about extreme trailers is yeah. it all looks so considered and, yeah. and, 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 and polished and finished, if that makes sense. Yes. That's CNC, right? Yeah, so it's like those mudguard brackets. So typically you just have flat plate and you just punch a hole or nibble, nibble end. Us, it's nice rounded edges, folded, clean. Yeah. Uh, accurate. And that's what, what makes us different to the rest. And then on the injection mold inside, you do the rollers, yes. the snubber blocks. Now for anyone who's probably watching this video, they may not know what a snubber block is, but that's all of the, the, the sort of ancillary parts, if you like, that bolt yes. onto the trailer. So ev everything non-galvanized, so you, 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 the side rollers, the keel rollers, and the, the winch post section, yeah. that is all injection molded. Uh, normally, um, our competitors, they, they buy them in uh, right. overseas, typically China, low, low quality. We do it all in house. That right. means we can check every, we know the materials being used. We, can, we, we, we know that the quality is there. That's why we do it. Plus, we get to color code, yeah. which is again so, really helpful. Obviously, that's a huge USB for you guys, right? That it you is, are, yeah. I guess, are you the OGs that did the sort of color customization? We, we are, yes. Uh, and yeah, we're the only boat trailer manufacturer that can offer the full complement of, of roller colors uh, on on the on the trailer itself. Uh, people are, are trying to. Uh, I, I take emulate. It, emulate, yeah, I take, I take it as flattery, really. Um, but yeah, we are, we are the market leaders. There. So you're the OG injection molders of the rollers, the snubber yes. blocks, the kiln rollers. Yes, that's right. Yes. And then you've coupled that with the powder coating. Yes. Which has made it all kind of quite quite a big deal. So obviously I'm obsessed with jet skis, you know that. Yeah. But if you're someone who's coming at it from a boating angle, what makes Extreme sort of unique, if you like, for like the bigger sort of vessels and crafts? What, what is it that Extreme you mm. feel do well from that side of things? Well, the great thing is our designs are modular. So we, we have a, so a here's trailer. Here's one right here. Uh, so this is uh, a 1900 uh, kilo super roller. So a big, um, big, big boy, as yeah. it were. So this is our largest single axle. 
Um, but what we can do, we on this trailer, because it, the, the design is completely modular, we can have a, you can have a longer, you can have a shorter version, you can have rollers, you can have bunks, it's completely changeable. So that changeable. cross member there is adjustable, the kil, that's a kiln roller, right? Yes, yeah. yeah learning, so, Ross, I got it. Indeed, <laughs> uh, and that, that, that's, the, that's the beauty of our, of our product. This is adjustable, right? Yes, Back so forward. again, you saw... Up and down. Yeah, again, folded, folded winch post, top of post to welded, nice clean web on here. Um, but this is the great thing, you know, we have a generic range on the on the site, but we can do so much more. So here's the killer question. You probably hate me for asking this. Yeah. So Mr. Mr. Person buys the, the yeah. fancy new boat. Yeah. And they say, Ross, I love your trailers, but I want it in black. Yeah. Is that doable? Yes. So we, we can powder coat um, uh, the 1900 kilo. Uh, right. we, we've gone so far as to do that. We can we can powder coat larger trailers, um, but we, we're, we're growing into it comfortably. Um, but your level yeah. of finesse is there to achieve that. As That's it, it. yeah. We, we just don't want to just powder coat the chassis like a lot of our competitors do. We, we try and make sure that we, we powder coat everything. We just go that So when you say bit. everything, you mean the, the, the axle is typically not powder coated? No, but we coat that in black because right. uh, it just looks wrong. Uh, we've, we've seen it uh, done by other people. It, it just sticks out. Um, so we powder coat the, uh, the chassis, coat the axle and every other part, the winch posts, the, the, the wing brackets, uh, uh, even the mud guard brackets. So so. One of the big points of contention with powder coating is yeah. if you powder coat and then you use U-bolts, yeah. it will bite into the powder coat. But you were telling me you've done something to combat that? Yeah, so uh, that was a, a, an issue. Should this we walk was, this way? Have a look, there's lots yeah. to see and do. Yeah, well, that, that was the that was the problem um, from, from our perspective, um, which we wanted to overcome before we started manufacturing powder coated trailers. So we designed a, a U-bolt protector made out of aluminium, laser cut on our on our machine uh, that goes underneath the U-bolt, in between the U-bolt and the top of the box section. So when you adjust the the rollers and the winch post. Larger that, surface area. Yeah, and it sp spreads, spreads it and uh, yeah, it doesn't damage the, the powder coat. Because I've seen on, on others the, the, the cracking and uh, yeah. That's the last thing you're going to Yeah, because the pull. reality is with powder coating, as much as obviously everyone who follows me knows I love powder coating, if you don't do it correctly, even at the application stage, that you've got no chance. But then on top of that, if you're not actually using the right sort of supporting fixtures and fit fittings, if yeah. you like, it's, it's really not going to last either. So, no, it's not. So you've taken a lot of the time and consideration in the R and like the sort of the research and development phase course, to make yeah. sure that it's it's going to last. Yeah, well, we, you know, we have to innovate. We're, we're, we're innovating all the time. We're learning all the time, you know. Uh, we've been doing this, as I said, since 2005. We've got over 100 years combined marine experience, but there isn't a day go by that we, there's still improvements to be made. So every day... You look at it as um, an opportunity to keep adding new... Growing, yes, and, and, and learn, le learning, learning the range and improving the range. So uh, we, we are, again, trying to expand our range uh, every day. So if someone's reaching out to Extreme for the first time, they don't yeah. know you, maybe they've met you at a show or mm -hmm. they've, they've given one of your members a team of the... What, what would you say is the reason to pick you guys over, say, your competition? I mean, there's a lot of trailer manufacturers at the point. Trailers have well, been around for a long, long time. Well, we well, we haven't got time, I think, to go over every point. Uh, <laughs> okay. But, um, look... We, be modest, eh? Be modest. <laughs> we pride ourselves on our customer service. You know, we have a passion for boat trailers. We have a passion for boats. So we want happy customers and we want to ensure from start to finish that the trailer they ordered is the trailer they get right so we and i can vouch for that i must say i've, I've had a, a, a great opportunity to obviously work with ross but also your team when they look after you very very good and diligent with uh, and i'm pretty picky anyone who follows my <laughs> channel is that i'm very picky um and that's that, that's, that's what you guys thrive off of, right? You yeah. Know, you go above and beyond to make sure that you're happy at the end. The customer is happy. Customer satisfaction for me, you know, we have, uh, there's so much happening uh, around us in the world. And there's so many problems previously with our supply chain that uh, we were able to overcome that. Uh, and for me, the, the greatest pleasure is, is seeing a, a happy customer at the end of it. Okay. With so tell me about some of your, you know, dealer network, people you work with, people that you're proud to obviously work with. Yeah, so we have the largest dealer network uh, in the UK. We have stockists um, situated all around uh, the United Kingdom uh, that we work with. Uh, we also have um, 
premium boat builders uh, in, in the country uh, to include the likes of, uh, in the sailing market, the Cornish Crabbers landable boats we supply. Yeah. In the fishing boat market, warrior boats, uh, swordfish <laughs> boats, smart liner boats, to name but a few. Rib market, you've got uh, Humber ribs, Zodiac ribs, excess ribs. Uh, goodness, uh, we, again, we, we, we supply majority of the industry now. Right, nice. Jet ski market, we, we supply all the big brands, including CD. I was CD. waiting for jet skis. I know he was. <laughs> CD, Kawasaki, and Wave Runner. Nice, nice. So 2005, I'm yeah. just racking my brain. You're, that was the end of the lifespan of two strokes, so... 2006. 2006. Yeah. Yes. So maybe there would have been a couple of uh, back then, two strokes. I mean, obviously I'm putting my skis on extremes now, so yeah. they're getting the privilege of it, but yeah. back then maybe a couple in the actual time when they were sold? Yeah, yeah. I suppose so, yeah, Nigel, goodness. Nigel, I would have thought, would have been selling two strokes then. Yes, yeah, goodness, that's a, it's a lifetime ago. So yeah, it wasn't really until kind of the late 2000s that we really focused on the, the, the um, the main market of uh, jet skis. So as I said, we, we've grown organically and now yeah, we've got one of the largest ranges in the UK. Oh, this, jet ski. Yeah, so this is our <laughs> Ideal Boats. These are a very large uh, marine company based in North Wales and Southampton. They offer a great range of products uh, right. from Kawasaki jet skis to Saxadors to Finmasters. Um, thankfully, we've got a couple of, of our trailers underneath uh, the range showing off well. Um, he's also got some of our powder coated trailers on order. Okay, uh, so we've got some of the trailers? Yeah, so you've got on here, um, here you've got a couple of our 3500s. Yeah. Uh, and a 1400 underneath two Fin Masters, three Fin Masters actually. Um, Very nice boats. Yeah, so this is our 3500 Super Roller, suitable up to as standard 24 foot. Yeah. But what we can do, we can extend the chassis with our modular design. We can actually make that up to 30 foot in length wow. uh, to accommodate. Okay. So yeah, up so to a boat to about 2.8 ton. Um, and again, the beauty of this is I guess you can set this up to adjust the, the roller position yeah. so it sits exactly where you want it on the hole. That's correct. So he, he um, this customer specifies his rollers in black uh, to accommodate the, uh, the design of the, the Fin Master range. But as you know, we can obviously spy in six different colors yeah. uh, there with it. So that's also another 3,500. And then to the left there, we've got our very popular 1,400 Super Roller um, trailer. Uh, again, it's got all of the waterproofing stuff and I can see, hasn't it? Yes, yeah, yeah so all good to go. So yeah, You've these got are- a very, very shiny new looking jet ski here as yes. well. Ready to go on a nice powder coated black. Yeah, uh, I forget which color options he's got, but the, the beauty thing is because we have the black chassis, then it, we've got the Kawasaki green, we've got the red, and so again. What color do you think I would pick, Ross? <sighs> yes, obviously red uh, would be your, <laughs> your color of choice. But remember, there are five other colors available. Well, maybe, so maybe one, one day. day would be nice for you to not choose a is a red. Um, but yeah, the, the boat show is uh, really busy today. Really pleased on the on the footfall. Um, really, so, I need to get back to the stand. Nice to see you again. Okay. Saw some trailers, I'll see you soon. Yeah, I'll see you soon. All the best.